Hello and welcome to the Linda B. James Show website where no topic is off limits. Every week I talk to experts on a variety of subjects and they provide tips and solutions to some of life's challenging situations. I told you that you are going to love my first guest and you know who she is. She pulls no punches. She tells it like it is and she's a straight shooter. And by the way, she presides over the longest running court show on TV. Her name is Judge Lynn Toller. She is the author of My Mother Rules and another book that I love, and it's called Putting It in Writing. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I'm glad to be invited. Do you guys ever argue when you're sober? <laughs> Rare, rarely, and it's squashed pretty quick. Yes, we do over stupid things, though. Very like, but, but that's like all couples. All couples <laughs> argue over, you know, who left out the, the dirty dish towel or whatever. You know what I mean? It, 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 are there significant issues? Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> you got to do away with that. I, you know, I mean, I don't know whether to be upset about Facebook or you know, pay him a percentage for keeping me in business. It's just, it's, it's fascinating. What's going on with Facebook? You were talking about Facebook. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more, how Facebook can be a serious problem? Well, Facebook gives you a false sense of intimacy. You, 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 you have friends and you say things on there almost as if you're talking to them over the telephone. Mm -hmm. and, and, but that stuff remains on there. It is visible. Uh, it, 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 other people and also your spouse can get on it and look at it and, and it and it also presents you with a very simple world in other words when when things are complicated home stressful or tension there's tension you can go on facebook and have a friendly easy conversation yeah. with whomever you choose and it is simple and the complications aren't there and you can uh and people want to feel better right away and if they can do it on a computer and without dealing with you they, they will do that, and it becomes a substitute for uh, a good conversation or, or, or uh, relating to the person that you're actually in the house with. That's what the complaints are that we get in divorce court about people who are sucked into the computer and aren't uh, engaged in the marriage. When I first got met, met Michael, it was like we had a real trusty relationship. Well, <laughs> Internet evolved. And oh. that was it. What it wasn't the What happened oh, with yes, the internet? Well, okay. <laughs> Michael got on the internet. Like, we started getting on the internet, you know, and then they have little social networks that come on and stuff. So Michael started getting on them and found past friends. So now they're just friends. Well, it went from friends, then all of a sudden they started texting. But if you're on the internet, you haven't seen this old friend in I don't know how long. How did she get your number to text you? So it went from internet, texting, and then, like one day, now mind you, I don't. I'm a creeper now. I'm not even going to lie. I, <laughs> creep. I, I I know passcodes. I think the best thing you should know also security you numbers, out. birthdays. You got all his I information. Seventy-five percent of the people on my show have a have a broken into their their spouse's Facebook page. That's what they do. They and they change the status. They'll they look at their friends. They there it's it's almost like um, spy versus spy. Everybody's breaking into the other person's social network page, trying to figure out what they're doing, who they're doing it with, and sometimes um, communicating with those people that they're doing it with. You, you have a whole lot of people who are easy to have a relationship with. You don't live with them, that you don't share money with them. All you do is share the good stuff. I, I could be six feet tall and, and, and with gorgeous long hair on the internet, because you don't know. Right. And, and, it, and it, it's just a... It's a, it's a A while ago, I looked into her phone. Right. Seen messages in her phone. Right. Explicit messages. She's texting this guy. Uh, we argued. We fought about right. it. She lied, constantly lied. She's a compulsive liar. So it's sort of like a, a fantasy. You know, you're escaping exactly. reality. I see what you mean.
Mr. Mr. Kitchen, I will start with you. Why are we here? We're here because for the past 10 years, Your Honor, she has made my life a living hell. She is cruel, she is mean, she is meaner than a pit bull on steroids. She calls me names, she calls me out of my name all the time. She says I'm ugly. No, that, that is not true. Story. That so is then totally he made what that goes on. Out of the blue. Out of the blue. She, she's called me that. He likes, to, he likes she, the drama. Her hey. middle name is drama. Her first oh, name is drama. Geez. Her last name drama. If you write drama on an envelope and drop it in the mail, the postman will take it to her. I guarantee you. Right that would be a lot of couples over 50 are divorcing, great divorces. What is that all about? It, that's true. It's an interesting uh, survey. The AARP did it a couple of years ago that says that um, uh, there is an uptick in the number of divorces among uh, baby boomers. There are a couple of uh, uh, reasons that people are, are, are throwing out there as possible reasons. One, we are living longer than we ever have before. A couple of generations ago, you know, 65, you were nearing the end. Everybody was getting sick, sick and, 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 and relying on one another. One another now. 65 is the new 40. You know, you, you're retired, you're well capitalized, and you're looking across the table and said, "I got 20 more years to go. Is this the person that I want to do it with?" The kids are gone, and everything changes, and you have to find if you've lost each other during the course of raising that family. But there's the change of life for women that make the most uh, things that once uh, the sacrifices that once were satisfying to them aren't so much anymore. We start thinking a little bit more like men and, and, and so uh, a lot of guys look over and said, you know, where's my wife? What, what happened to her? You, you're changing and women do change as time goes by. Mm -hmm. There's an empty nest reason. Uh, when you're focused on the children uh, and the children go, then you, you look up and, and, and that one big common bond is gone. Or if the woman was a stay-at-home mother, her, her raison d'etre has left the house. This is what she did, and now she's looking for something to fulfill herself. And, yet, you know, uh, hubby might not be it. You know, he forgets that I was there for LaShonda like a mother. Right. I took her into my right. house. No, 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 you put that hand down. I want that you to do it. Stop yes, it. it does. Look at her. I want you to see what you did to your wife. I want you to see what you did to the woman that you said you were going to love, honor, and cherish. What she did was take your son's daughter into her life and cared for him. And what you did is take your vows, throw them out your window, and skittled off with a kindergartner. Mm -hmm. To have full access to radio and TV shows and to get regular updates, about the shows, become a member of the LBJ Club. You can be a member by simply clicking to the button on your right. I'm Linda B. James. Thanks for tuning in.